Hi, my name is David Lees, and in today's video, which is the first video for a little while, um, I'm going to be making the most of the recent price reductions for the Transformers TCG. Transformers TCG discontinued earlier this year. Uh, there wasn't the support for it across the franchise that the, uh, the company were hoping for, and so they've discontinued the game, they're not carrying on with it anymore, um, which has meant there's been a surplus of boxes at reduced prices. And I looked around and I've decided to go with a Wave 1 box. Um, I didn't buy a Wave 1 box the first time around. Um, I bought a few cards um, from eBay and so on. Uh, I bought a Wave 5 box just before they, they retired the, uh, the game completely. <coughs> Um, and I was thinking about it, I was hoping to get a Wave 4 for a Triptychon, um, that hasn't happened, Wave 4 is completely out of stock, so I've gone with the Wave 1, um, which, reading around, looking around on the net, seems to be the best box, it's got the staple battle cards, it's got some of the best character cards, um, so you've got things like Dinobots, the Insecticons, Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, uh, and so on, then you've got Security Checkpoint, you've got Matrix of Leadership, it's a pretty important card that I don't have, um, and certainly not in any quantity. Um, so I'm going to get into this box, take a look inside, and see what we can get. Um, I will talk briefly while I'm opening this box about the maths. There are, uh, in total, four different character cards. This box only contains 30 packs, so I'm going to be at least 10 characters short. Um, also, there are, let me get this right, 81, 81 different battle cards. Um, so I'm not going to get a full set, I couldn't mathematically get a full set of three of each of the battle cards, I think more than there are in the box. Uh, there are 180 battle cards, oh seven, seven three, 210, it is possible then. It is possible I might actually get a full complete set of battle cards. Unlikely, I appreciate, um, the probabilities are stacked against me, uh, but there we go. Let's get this set up, so it looks like it should. There we go. I'm not going to get through all these in one sitting. I wish I could. Uh, I do have things other than Transformers to think about, um, but let's get cracking. Main aims, as I said, are to get the Dinobots, the Insecticons, hopefully Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend would be nice. Um, apparently that any rares uh, or super rares would be very, very wonderful as well. Uh, but we'll start off with an uncommon, that's Thundercracker, who I do already have, but happy with that anyway. It's a nice card. And then the Battle Cards, Handheld Blaster, if you haven't seen Handheld Blaster before, useful because it's a double blue pit. Um, Supercharged, Rapid Traversion, Repair Bay, Bombing Run, Body Armor, and Backup Plan. Uh, backup Plan being a good one, scrap your hand and draw three cards. So I will, I have my checklist, I'll be checking these off um, and adding them up later. Let's get straight on because time is of the essence. I don't have a fast forward button in real life, I just have to go quicker. So put on the bottom of this one because the cards put the top. Let's have a look. And we have, we have, we have, Autobot Jazz. This is the original Special Ops. Um, if you flip at least two white, you get PS2. Um, and he is also an uncommon, so I'm doing quite well there. And then the battle cards this time. Still hoping for something interesting in the battle card front. Uh, battle Ready, which I don't think I've seen before. Um, graphic Conversion, Zap. Piercing Blaster, Agility Bumblebee, debilita Debilitating Crystal, which is nice, and Disarm. So, some scrapping in one there. And, I'll put those. and a Zap, I like I said, don't think I've seen a Zap. Um, and Agility Bumblebee. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I can't stand Bumblebee. Um, I think it was completely overused in the comics, sorry, in the cartoons. Um, he was like a cute uh, version of the Autobots. Um, massively overused. Took up way too much screen time. I can't stand it. Um, I know that's a very, oh, a very strong personal view. Autobot Cosmos. I am very happy. Um, I'd love to be able to try and build a deck around him. Uh, reshuffling your deck while he's attacking K the Defender. Um, yes, 21 health in both modes. Well, I'm very pleased about that. That's really made my day already. And we're only three packs in. I can't stand one will be. I think Cosmos is great. Um, it was the first spaceship before they had spaceship support cards, so yes, very pleased. Uh, improvised Shield, Inspiring Leadership, Brainstorm, these are good cards. New design, Iron Blaster of Optimus Prime, Blast Shield and Power Sword. I like Power Sword, Power Sword. I use that in my grapple deck. Um, I have the video on that one. Bold 3, um, melee only, definitely. 
and Iron Blaster up in front and put that with the agility of Bumblebee just to one side, um, improvised shields, double orange. If I get my Insecticons, I know where that's going. Let's press on. Get into the Baltimore Cosmos. Very pleased. Very pleased with that. Um, and go on to the next one. So, we have Dinobot Snarl. Now we're talking, we've got Dinobot. So, very pleased. Um, he's a seven cost Dinobot, which makes him very versatile, flexible. Um, Still forgetting how good these shiny cards are at this size. Uh, and I'll put him there. So, very pleased with the way the characters are shaping up. Um, I don't need to get all 40, I'm happy with the ones I've got already. Um, I'm still not have a super rare, so I'm hitting uh, some very good cards. Reinforced plating, leap into battle, medic, crushing size, heroism, uh, crushing treads. I've never ever built a tank deck for crushing treads, and rapid ascent. Uh, Heroism is one I've not seen before. Um, it's uh, very similar to one of the cards in the Star Wars Destiny game where Guardian, that's it, uh, has the Guardian capability of taking damage on behalf of another character. So I can see that working, for example, in the Metroplex deck, um, which I've yet to play, which is kind of tragic, really. Uh, but there we go. On we go. Flame War, yes, who hasn't seen Flame War? Uh, common. Five stars and very, very playable. That she goes down there. And the battle cards we have Flamethrower, Bold 2, absolutely. Um, nice, easy, straightforward, get you into the game kind of card. I haven't managed to do this properly with the scissors. And we have Flamethrower. And we have a card that won't open. Stand by. There we go. Flamethrower, Handheld Blaster again, so that's more blue. Force field, armor plating, cybertonium bow. That's going to take some balancing to get that to work. I haven't ever seen that work. Um, if you can get an equal number of orange and blue. Mm -hmm. And multi mission gear. Mm, that's great. Uh, I'll look for a swap part to go with that. Um, and I'll put that to one side now. Pressing on. Equipment enthusiast. Uh, I think I've included that in my grapple deck in the past. That's a useful one to have. Uh, and if I ever play this game in real life again, rather than playing just against myself, I'll let you know. Um, let's see. Moving on, we have Bumblebee Courageous Scout. Uh, let's go with the agility of Bumblebee. Uh, this is the common version of Bumblebee. I think I already have that one. Most people do. Uh, and the battle cards, incoming transmission. I like that one. Draw two cards, put one on top of your deck. Any kind of plan or focus or whatever you want to call it, anything along those lines is good. Plus draw, another zap, leap into battle, inspiring leadership, start your engines. Yes, I like that one. I have a good cars deck that I'm playing around with. Strafing run, cheeky damage um, to each enemy. Um, running speed, start your engines. Yeah, another zap. I'll put that to one side and I'll put the rest in the pile. Pressing on, still looking for a super rare. Those of you who have watched my previous video on when I opened the Wave 5 box, the Titan Masters box. No, I went through an entire box and didn't get a super rare. Uh, there's Ramjet. And there we go. Vanilla both sides. I played some early stuff with Ramjet and Starscream, the 10 star and Flame War. Uh, and his 14 health really did come through. Um, caused quite a little complexity for my left hand while my right hand was playing. Um, it's difficult to play both sides, so I played left hand, right hand. Ramjet was one of the earliest builds I worked on. Um, and I found him hard, 14 health, put some upgrades on him and he was good to go. Another zap, I'll put that over there, armor plating, handheld blaster, force field, the bigger they are, debilitating, debilitating crystal, crushing treads, the bigger they are, has PS4, hmm. cool, I will put that, uh, the bigger they are, into my mini Autobots, so Gears, Brawn, um, and so on, that deck that I've got somewhere in my head. I'll be working on some point this side of Christmas, maybe. Um, we'll see. And I'll have a play around with that. Here we go. Pierce 4. Plus 2 attack until end of turn. And Pierce 4. Yep. Very nice. On we go. And it's a Decepticon. It's a Megatron Decepticon leader. Um, he's a tank. Well, I've never actually done anything tanky with him. Um, I'll put him on the only hats pile. Uh, and maybe that's the common version, yeah. No Optimus Prime yet. 
uh, brainstorm here leading the the battle cards, the Brainstorm, Piercing Blaster, Date of Had, Battle Ready, that's the new one, I Still Function, I forgot to mention I was hoping for that one, uh, Disruption and Grenade Launcher. I've not seen I Still Function, I'm really pleased to have that. Um, most, of the car, most of the decks I play are 12 stars or fewer, so that will work out well. And disruption, look at your opponent's hand and scrap an upgrade from it. That's one I have not been aware of. So it's nice to go sort of, I can't be nostalgic for somebody, isn't it? really that old, but back to the first wave. I joined or discovered the Transformers trading card game shortly after wave one was released, so I missed the boxes completely. Um, so it's good to see sort of back from the beginning here. Yeah. Wheeljack, I don't know why I'm showing you the front and the back, it's the same both sides, <clears throat> it's not blank. Um, I'm fairly sure I've got Wheeljack, he's come in well in the cars deck. Um, if you have a weapon in your scrap pile, this has bolt three, so you scrap a weapon pretty quickly. Uh, when you upgrade one of your cars, draw a card and scrap a card. That's always useful for rotating around and getting what you need. But I do already have that one, and here we go from that pack. So the new ones I've got that I've not had before. Cosmos, Snarl, um, I'll check on some of those as well. It looks doing pretty well. I'm hoping to get some more different um, battle character cards in particular. But let's go through this battle pack. Armor plating, reinforced plating. Flamethrower, crushing size, matrix of leadership. Another debilitating crystal and the swap missions. Uh, swap missions I'm enjoying. Um, this is the way it works. But yes, we have a matrix of leadership. I'm pleased with that. I'm um, hoping to get two more, obviously. That's going in my Metroplex deck, orange and blue. Um, I did think, although well, I was clearly mistaken, that it was orange, blue, and white. So I was thinking of something else. Probably fuel cash. But yeah, orange and blue is good. Um, even if I don't actually put it on a character, just having it in the deck to trigger Metroplex's ability would be good. We'll press on. I'm getting through this as fast as I can. Insecticon Scrapnel! Yes, 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 yes. Um, still potentially unbeatable. Um, in the right hands, not mine. Um, yes, very pleased to have Scrapnel. Uh, I'm halfway through. So far I've got three Insecticons that I'm very pleased with. Uh, one Dinobot and Cosmos. The rest are mostly commons or uncommons that I have already. Um, so it's doing quite well. On the battle cards front, two jaws of steel, a swarm, a matrix of leadership, uh, a one shall stand, one shall fall, and a couple of the bigger they are. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with those. That's the last pack I just opened recently. There we go. Um, flying through. I'm about halfway through, so I'm conscious of your patience as well as my time. Let's see what's in the next pack. And this one is a eight star, and it's bombshell again. So. Another duplicate there, not to worry. I've seen generally that poor character cards lead to be better battle cards. That's just a bit of a trend I've noticed. Reinforced plating again. Inspiring leadership, incoming transmission, armor plating, ion blaster optimus prime, emergency maintenance, and grenade launcher. So I'll put the ion blaster optimus prime to one side. Uh, emergency maintenance, I think that's a new one. I have got a good healing deck somewhere in my head. Certainly it's in my folder with all the medics and so on. Um, so I'll put that to one side. And press on again a little faster. What have we got here? Flame War, another duplicate. So I'm not going to get many of the uh, uncommons or rares that I was hoping for. Well this doesn't look like it so far. And we have Ready for Action, Repair Bay, that's one that I know I have. Inspiring leadership, new designs, another swarm. Excellent, that's two swarms so far. Grenade launcher and turbo boosters. And turbo boosters are a good one, obviously, for the cars deck. Um, when you put this on character, untap. So lots of untap fun in games with the cars deck. I think that's been pointed out before. Um, Mirage having his ability, if you flip three whites, to get uh, untapped. And so on. Uh, so let's tap on the back next. And the character card has slipped out. Very hard to get. Here we go. And it is Autobot Jazz again. So it's an uncommon common. There's two of him. That's the card to the side. Then battle cards here. Reinforced plating. Tough two. So one of the basic get you started kind of cards. Let's see what else we've got in here. Supercharge, data pad, piercing blaster, security checkpoint. Cha-ching! Backup plan and treasure hunt. So Security checkpoint goes on one side, 
Treasure Hunt I've mentioned before, great for draw, backup plan, and one I know I haven't seen previously. Uh, the rest looking very, very familiar. It's all good. Uh, very happy. I've got plenty of storage space available in my folders for all these cards and characters. So we'll get building up some stock. And again, the character card has beefy to me. It's Demolisher, a six star uh, tank. So I am going to have to build the tank deck quite clearly. I've not seen Demolisher before. Um, it looks quite impressive. When this is attacking, he flip extra battle cards equal to his defense. All oh, right. So he doesn't have any attack, basically zero attack, but you get to flip the extra battle cards equal to his defense. So you boost his defense because he's a tank. Um, and then when you flip to this mode, draw a card for each of the tanks. So he's crying out to be put into a tank deck, and I'll put him in the new and interesting, exciting pile. I'm reaching ahead, I haven't got the battle cards. The first battle card in this pack is Primary Laser. That's plus two attack, just straight off the bat. Medic, Battle Ready, Rapid Conversion, Bombing Run, Treasure Hunt, and Disruption. So a good mix, I'll put Disruption to one side, Treasure Hunt there, Bombing Run, uh, planes deck, rapid conversion, useful if you want to start flipping around obviously. Battle ready, each of your characters gets plus one attack until end of turn. Uh, medic, very useful in conjunction with the later version of Ratchet, uh, Specialist Ratchet, you've got extra attack when you did heal. So, that's a good card. And I'm going to have to stop very soon. Running out of time here. Jetfire. I have Jetfire already. Bought him separately, or traded for him separately. Uh, but he's a good card. He's the uncommon. Uh, the battle cards this time. I've not built the deck with Jetfire yet. Um, probably make it around. It's just a nice card. I think the picture, especially the artwork on the robot mode, is particularly nice. Yeah, it's too me. New designs: Repair Bay, Flamethrower, Crushing Size, Thermal Weaponry, Bug Bomb. Thank you very much. There's Bug Bomb. Excellent. And computer sabotage. Your computer, your opponent chooses three cards from their hand and scraps the rest. I've only got one of those elsewhere, I'm fairly sure, so I'll put that on my what to keep pile. And we're running out of packs now, there's about five there and five and six there, so we're two thirds of the way through. I will continue at some ridiculous breakneck speed on this pack. Here we go again. And we have Starscream, Scheming Second in Command. He is the, oh, excuse me, the common, and I'm fairly sure I've got him. He sits nicely, as I said earlier, with Ramjet and Flame War. Uh, there's no synergy, he's just a good deck to play for fun. Um, just when I was getting started, we have Drill Arms, Flamethrower, Improvised Shield, which is double orange, very nice. Scrapper Gauntlets, Security Checkpoint again, so that's two Security Checkpoints, I'm very pleased with that. Can't remember where I put the other one. There it is. Um, aerial Recon and Equipment Enthusiast. So, there we go. So, a security checkpoint come in and a book bomb. So, getting battle cards to go with character cards are still going to pick up. I'm really excited to see what's left in these cards. Um, still not had a super rare yet. Wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get one again. <laughs> the laws of probability don't play nice. Autobot Hound. The first. Um, card I bought from the Transformers TCG, um, bought him from eBay. He was one of my favourite characters in uh, the comic and the cartoon, especially the cartoon. The toy was awful. Uh, I would strongly recommend against ever buying the hand toy. His arms are shocking. Um, he's got no posability. He's just a brick, basically. Um, but a good character. Um, and I think it goes in the duplicates pile. But yeah, I enjoyed the character far more than the toy. I had the toy for birthday presents and was rather disappointed when I could have had Prowl or Jazz or Smokescreen or any of the cars that have bendy arms and I got him to go that long with his... No. Zap, so that's the third Zap, that's a complete set of Zap. Handheld Blaster, double blue. Piercing Blaster, Force Field, Photon Bomb, Crushing Treads, there's that tank deck again, um, and Emergency Maintenance. So a good mix of cards in that one. Really pleased. Um, with what we've picked up. Uh, I will continue. So yeah, some of my favourite toys from G1, obviously Optimus, um, any of the cars, well, I don't think I actually had any. Uh, and I had the, the Combaticons. 
<laughs> My Insecticon deck takes shape with Barrage. There's Barrage, he's a seven star, so he will go well with the others. Um, interesting, in wave one, we didn't have star cards, so you have to make up 25 or um, we're penalised for not getting up to 25. Now you can add star cards in to the deck, so you don't have to hit 25. So that was a useful addition later on, obviously. Um, but yeah, four Insecticons, one Dynabot. Uh, this box looks a little biased. Battle ready, supercharge, rapid conversion, primary laser, start your engines, blast shield and power sword. Um, in that pack it was definitely the character that I'm more pleased with. He's a common but I never actually had him, so I'm pleased with that. Uh, anything else to pick out? Start your engines Boost. with the turbo boosters over there, uh, and the rest go on the left. Pressing on very quickly. Okay, here we go. And we have, drum roll please, I'm really hoping for some Dinobots, this gets a bit biased. No, it's Thundercracker, again. Uh, first pack, Thundercracker, this pack, Thundercracker again. There we go, Battle Cards, Scrapper Gauntlets. Uh, I've played that with some fun uh, against myself, especially if you can't scrap an enemy upgrade, an enemy weapon, you have to draw a card. Armoured Plating, Handheld Blaster, Double Blue. Force field, swap parts, yes, I'll put swap parts in multi mission gear. Computer sabotage, nice one, and plasma burst, do two damage to an enemy. So I'll put that to one side as well. Still hoping for some more specific cards for the Autobot, sorry, for the Dinobots and the Insecticons. Also hoping actually for some Dinobots. Uh, Grimlock would be nice at this point. This one's an Autobot, I can see that much already, and it is Slug! So we are getting there. Slug is completely vanilla, I don't care. Um, he's a 9 star with 13 health. Um, I'll take that and know that he can go. I'll just slide him in there. With all the Dinobot cards, uh, I'm sure we're making use of him. I'd really like to get um, Sludge if at all possible. But there's Dinobot Slug. I don't know why. So, wrapping up, um, I've opened the rest of the packs. Unfortunately, my camera cut out before I realised. Uh, I'll talk you through what I got from Wave 1, and then I've got a few duplicates. I'll, I'll only go through the character cards, keep this fairly brief. But I now have um, Cosmos, as you saw in the video, very pleased with that. And there's Hound of Jazz, Mirage, Barrage, Bombshell, yep, Bumblebee, Courageous Scout. Uh, moving on, Bumblebee, uh, Brave Warrior, he's from the booster pack, if I remember rightly. Uh, sorry, not the booster pack, the separate deck. Um, I didn't pick up the, the rare or the super rare Bumblebee. Um, but I have Chop Shop, and then moving on, I'll leave some spaces. Uh, I think you saw at the end of the video, uh, it was on Slug and Snarl, Demolish it, Sludge. So yes, Sludge, Slug, Snarl and Swoop. I actually did very well for the Dinobots, but didn't get Grimlock, so Grimlock's still missing. Um, maybe he'll turn up in a future pack or box or whichever. And then we move on to the Insecticons in particular. Uh, got Scrapnel, which is very pleased with. We've seen a lot of him on YouTube, um, since he can't take more than three attack damage in an attack. Uh, the two Megatrons, Decepticon Leader, Living Weapon, uh, left some spaces there for the others. Uh, Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend, I think you saw on the video, was delighted to get him. Uh, Autobot Leader then, uh, the Jets, Skywarp Starscream, just the common Starscream. Uh, Ransack, Cup, yes I got Cup, um, and then Thundercracker and Wheeljack. So the rest of those are from the other waves. So yeah, uh, very pleased. Some of the duplicates, very briefly, that I picked up. Uh, Hound, uh, Jazz, j double Jazz, Mirage, Bumblebee again, Snarl, actually a duplicate Snarl in that box, uh, Bombshell, more duplicates, Flame War, Jetfire, Megatron Decepticon Leader, uh, and then uh, the Jets and Wheeljack. So very pleased with that box. I'm going to pick up another one. I'm still missing Kickback and Grimlock um, and possibly any Super Rare. Um, and that will, video will come in the next week or so. Uh, but just wanted to wrap up the previous box since the uh, camera cut out before I was able to finish. In terms of the, count, the battle cards, I'm not going to go through all those, there's way too many. Uh, but I ended up with about five zaps, no rollouts, but I had one previously. Um, two Matrix of Leaderships, no Energon Axes, um, and more duplicates, again, than you can actually shake a stick at. Most of them, look, there's incoming transmission. Um, the commons that we've seen many, many times before. 
so nothing too surprising there. Uh, looking forward to the next box and the next video. Thanks very much for watching this one. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Um, and if you've seen something you want to trade for or you'd like, just let me know. I'm uh, more than happy to sort you out. Thanks very much. Bye for now.